Hey, Casey. Let me know. Sound check okay? Please. Hi, Kathy. Oh. Don't be afraid to say hi when you come in. Can everybody hear me okay? Oh, thanks, Casey. I appreciate that. Spreading the love. Still not sure if we can say that word. <laughs> so how's everybody doing? How many of you have one of these plate racks laying around? I originally bought this for something else. And today, I had this crazy idea this morning, and we're going to see if we can get it to work. Thank you, Harless. I repositioned the camera, so I'm hoping, and added some more light, so I'm hoping it works. We'll find out. I know, you said earlier you have three. A lot of people use them for in their bathroom. They roll up their towels, and then they place their towels on them. Um, trying to think. There was one more thing I saw that people do with these. Oh, pictures. Just pictures all in a row. <laughs> Did you, Lisa? That's awesome. Hi, Joanne. Welcome. I originally bought this for something else, and I was going to give it to this person. She's doing a, um, a craft show, and I thought she could really use this to show some of her new signs. But then I thought, I know what I could do with that. I'm not sure if many of you people know, but we have chickens. We raise chickens, and my whole kitchen, my dining room, everything is chicken. Even when you come to the entryway of my home um, and to my store, I have a, an old shelf out there loaded with chicken stuff. So chickens are what I decorate with. So I have a feeling when this is finished, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> I'll find a place in my dining room for it. Okay, so what, I, what I'm doing... If I can get these open. I actually bought this from Craft Outlet. It comes in rolls like this. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to mount it on here because I have some chickens I'm going to put on here. And this is just going to make it look like chicken decor. And also it's going to give me something to attach them to. Okay. So, I want to get out a couple of zippy ties here. But what I'm going to do, I bought some of this from Bev. She was selling some of this. And this is that frayed mesh, like burlap type mesh. Well, when I, I cut this at 20 inches, so when I ruffled it up the middle... And I put it on the bottom shelf. It looked like a chicken nest to me. So, that's what I'm going to use it for. And then, let me attach this first. See if we can get this in place first. There. I folded down the edges a little just in case there's any kind of fraying going on. But I love this mesh. It's got metallic down the middle and it's got the frayed ends. So I'm just going to attach this to the bottom here to create my nest area. So 
because I want it to look like a chicken nest because I have some chickens that I'm going to put on here. And they were actually wall hangings that I found that as soon as my son gets his CNC machine, Mama and him are going to make some chickens. Let me show you what it looks like. Can you see it? Okay. So what I'm going to do, I have three chickens. And I think this one is going to fit in here. Now, these were wall hangings, so they have the little um, thing on the back, which is great because I can run a zip tie through there, okay, and I can attach it right to the um, chicken wire. But I want to wait and see here. I'm going to put a grapevine wreath on here. I'm going to hang it from the first um, plate holder. So I wanted to make sure that my chicken was far enough down and wouldn't interfere with the uh, with the grapevine, and it's not. Okay. All right. And then, if I can, actually, I may just go with the one chicken here and make a nest and put the other chicken up here. I had a third chicken if I needed it. And I even had some baby chickens, but I want to put a big bow up here. Or, this is all work in progress, so I'm, I'm thinking it out as I go ahead. Maybe the bow could go right there, and maybe I'll have enough for the third chicken. Or, let's see. Maybe she'd be better there, and this one would be better there, and then maybe the bow on the side. I think I might go ahead and put the big one down here and save the little one for up here. That's how we'll do it. Thank you, Nikki. I appreciate that. Is everybody having a good day so far? Well, welcome, Joy. I'm trying to catch all the comments. Sorry. So again, we're going to make another nest. And like I said, I folded down the edges. We're going to put the other nest right in there. And I'm, I think I'm going to attempt <laughs> Notice I use the word attempt to make a, a Damon bow. Katie showed it yesterday on our uh, bow Sunday. So I'm going to try it. And this zip tie is not long enough. That one's too short. I spent a ton of time this weekend rearranging all my craft room here and so now I have it so organized I'm having trouble finding stuff did you get rain we got hammered again today I'm gonna have to stand up to do this and this is what's hard I can't run it this way because I have my computer in the way I just wanted to do something different. Well, thank you, Kathy. I'm big on repurposing stuff. Like, I have a lot of stuff in my house that, like, I bought some antique, um, ironing boards and I cut the legs off use the legs to make shelves and then I put a clock in it um, I have old washboards that I've made into uh, medicine cabinets 
I love to repurpose stuff. And sometimes I'll sit on something for a while before I even decide what I'm going to do with it. And I originally had a fireman's wreath all picked out to do today. And I thought, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do farmhouse. So, see this stuff makes a great looking nest. We're a little short on this side, so I got pulled through. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? I think I piqued everybody's curiosity tonight. Hi, Bev. Okay, so now we got another nest. I'm using your, your mesh, Bev. It makes a really cute chicken nest. All right, so now got to figure out how we're going to get this to stay up here. See, I didn't use that much, but it was just enough that it'll hold everything for me that I want to put on it. This is nothing like the real chicken wire. The real chicken wire, boy, will mess you up. It gets so sharp. All right, so this girl's going to fit in here. And I even have eggs if I want to add a couple eggs by her feet. Oh, didn't you keep any? <laughs> Bev, what is the matter with you? I would have kept some. All right. So here's what it's looking like so far. Now this girl doesn't have a hanger on the back of her, so I'm going to have to put some staples in her later to get her to stand okay. But can you see it so far? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Sue. There's my biz bud. One of them. I'm lucky. I got two biz buds. Thank you, Nikki. Now we're going to put another nest up top because that's where I want to put the third chicken. Oh, well, it's appreciated. And it's really soft too. It's it's easy to work with. And the metallic really is keeps it nice too. I think I'm gonna need a small one for here. There we go. Now I can still this is gonna hold this in place. I can still put some flowers and stuff and greenery on here. Is it looking like Chickenville? Oh, thank you. I know it does, doesn't it? And you know what Lori said, the metallic mesh is better mesh because it holds up better. See? See, doesn't it, doesn't it make like, I can't wait to do a wreath with it, but doesn't it make like a really cute nest? Now I'm getting caught on cords here. See? All the babies are doing great and Robin's doing great. So we're good. <laughs> Except They've been without mama now. Now it's uh, my turn to make sure everybody's fed and doesn't go into sugar shock. I had one go into a little bit of sugar shock today. but And I have to tell you, I know you all are following Miracle. That that dog, I have to keep thinking she's, she's a preemie. She's a preemie. So she's not going to hit the stages the other dogs are hitting. But 
last night I took the opportunity to stick one of the other puppies in her pen and she lit up like a Christmas tree. She was having so much fun. So it's like, okay, she does better on her territory. Thank you. I know, a little bling. Yep. And like I said, I'll figure out a way to, I got a, I don't have my staple gun down here. So I'm going to have to get a staple gun down here, put a staple in her. But I don't know, maybe just one egg. Because three is going to be a lot to put in this little nest with her. Although, well, it may fit. But anyhow, oh, I have to show you. I started making my own Halloween signs to sell. Check this one out that I just made. Can you see it? Look at that glitter. I glittered the uh, bat and I glittered the spider web. There's that one. Here's the other one. I think I'm going too fast for the camera. And then this is my favorite. Isn't that cute? I have another one too that was bought, but I thought that one was cute too. So these are going to go up in my store. And I will have the uh, the bats if you wanted to just buy the bats and do them yourself. I have those and I have the spider webs. Um, I will also be adding baseballs to the store too. I know that broom one is hilarious, isn't it? And we did a sign swap and Carla got me and she sent me these witch legs. And this other stuff that I think I'm going to use one on one and, and some stuff on another one. Like, I think I'm going to do two wreaths. All right, so we pretty much have this the way I want it. So, again, this is so awkward because it's so long. I can't see what I'm doing unless it's right like this. There we go. All right. So let's attempt a Damon bow and see what happens. All right, see if I can get it to work. I can, I can even add some cotton to that too. All right, I did get the board set up like Katie showed us yesterday. So now let's see if I can make it work. Thank you, Sue, thank you. I know, isn't that one cute? They're all going to be for sale in my Etsy store. I thought I'd make at least one up so everybody could see it made up. All right, so I got several colors here. Now, what she showed us yesterday was, which I think that went the red on top. She put three of the one and a half inch together. Oh, this is going to be a tangled mess. Ooh. Oh, well. We're going to give it a try anyhow. All right. And she did what I do. I work with two, uh, two um, wires. Let's see if we can do this, except I didn't leave this end long enough. Anybody have a day where they just felt like they were all thumbs all day long? That's the way my day's been going. Thank you, Julie. We hope to be making some of those soon, my son and I, as soon as he gets a CNC machine. 
I wish they'd make it so these pegs would just sit there. Why do they do that? Pop out. Thank you. And I know my Facebook page hit 500 the other week. And I gave away a bow. And I'm trying to get a hold of the woman. I keep... She keeps commenting on all the things I'm posting, but um, <laughs> she hasn't seen she won yet. I think her first name was Deb. So if Deb gets on, go check and see if you won. Want to make your bow on a live and send it to you. Oh, this is... How did she do this so make it look so easy? Because this is not easy. Not these three, anyhow. Because what she did was she had the one and a half inch together, all three layers. And then did three pegs each side. Were you able, I know you weren't able to get on, Bev. Were you able to go back in and watch the replay? Yeah, that's right, Sue. You were having some computer work done. Now, I know she did stress the importance of when you tie it off, you got to make sure that everything is lined up straight with your tie off you don't want it like crooked for this to work all right let's trim these now it's going out to here Took it to the end. She only did tails for the for these three, just on one side. All right. Now the next one I'm going to use is the black. See, it has chicken wire on it. I have it in blue too, but because the chickens were. Um, black. I thought this would be nice to add this. I'm taking this out to the end because this will have two tails on it. What I really liked about her doing it was she had the ribbon kind of lifted up to the top of the uh, the dowels, which kept room underneath to be sliding the wire through, which I thought that was kind of cool. It really turned out nice, Harless. And I'm assuming Harless is the dog's name. 
I wish I knew your real name, if that is the case. Okay. Then the next one, this is one I just got. It has chickens all over it. I have one that has the farm, but I like the one with the chickens all over it. And I wanted to incorporate, you know, red and black, red and black, and, and some beige in there. Yeah, um, Katie did a bow. Um, Lori did the bow that she had on her live last night. And then um, Amanda came on. And Amanda used the uh, candy canes and put them together. Has anybody seen that? Levine, well, it's nice to finally meet you, Levine. I feel funny calling you Harless all the time. Because <laughs> I figured with the dog's picture, that was probably his name. Maybe you should change it to Harless and Levine. I kept everything straight there and all lined up. So now let's get rid of all this stuff. I get everything organized and I even made myself a PVC pipe ribbon rack, but I didn't have time to vacuum. <laughs> so I'm getting there. I got to do it before uh, Thursday because I got a class on Thursday. We're doing a sunflower. They're coming here for class. See, I think I'm going to add a zip tie to this because I feel like I can get a better grip on it when I have a zip tie on it rather than the wire. There. And this way when I'm pulling it off, if it decides to pop, i got a handle on it. I'll have to show you. I did that. And I was going to show it, but I I took the sign off of it. But I have done that before. See? It's just the two candy cane frames put together with zip ties holding them together. So you've got one candy cane going this way, and then this one going this way. And that was just the ruffle method. Because evidently, some people are having trouble getting frames. They're not able to find them. So she was giving us an alternative that if you didn't have a frame, this is what you could do. Where are my tires? I'm going to pull this just a little bit tighter. I thought I had them down here. I think that's tight enough. Now, I always have trouble getting mine to fluff out properly. So I was really watching Lori yesterday. I'm just pulling this wire out. 
And I know I always use my fluff box, but she was not using her fluff box. And I'll tell you what, I think she had a better grip on things. And she could do this more. See, I'm opening up all the, the one and a half inch. Actually, they started at the back, didn't they? She was taking both loops and she was twisting. Should have reminded my son I'm on a live tonight because he's messaging me. Next thing you know, when he doesn't get an answer, he'll be calling. He came home tonight, and his poor dog has, um, it ha he has cancer, his dog. And he came home tonight, and the dog had been peeing urine, a bloody, bloody uh, urine. So, he's pretty worked up. And I have a store off my home, and I carry a lot of all-natural dog products. And he's looking for CBD oil for the dog, and I'm out. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm I'm going to put it back on the fluff box. Oh, thank you, Dixie. You know, I, I breed Yorkies, but it seems to be a place that a lot of people um, dump their Yorkies. It's known in the area that if you have a Yorkie that there's a problem, Robin will take care of it. So I get a lot of Yorkies dumped here. Yes, it is. And they just moved into their new house, and they just redid, well, it's new to them, just redid the hardwood floors, and he's having accidents now, and it's really hard. I don't know. This isn't turning out to look like... <laughs> did. We'll just keep trying. I know, right? My heart just goes out to him. Because that's his baby. Hi, Anita. Better late than never. You're right. Did you get your package yet? It probably won't be there for another two days. Two or three. Well, this has to go over here. This is awkward because you really, you've got three that are same position and you really got to spread them around here. Well, it's not too bad.
There we go. Now we're cooking. But how did that one end up underneath the other one? We'll pull it this way. There we go. We're doing a demon bow that we watched Katie do yesterday. which I think I need to go back and practice again. <laughs> this needs to go over here. There we go. Okay. Thank you, Levine. <laughs> Get off the fluff box. <laughs> Holy moly. There we go. All right, so now we got to figure out where this is going to go. Oop. Losing chickens and everything. We got a chicken going to trash. All right, because these aren't stapled on yet. So I think that's going to hinder up there, and it'll hinder there. So I'm thinking this may have to go there. What do you think? Because if I move this, I mean, if I put it up here... That's pretty, but then I only have two chickens showing. So, let me look at it here a minute. And if I put it here, it kind of hides our girl down here. So, could put it at the bottom. Good. I'm glad I did. I th I kind of think I like it at the bottom. I mean, I could do just a little simple bow right above here. You liked it on the side, Bobby? Let me turn it around again. Because see, at the bottom, I mean, I'm still going to do something here. But see, this just doesn't do it for me. What about right there? You like it on the side, Joy? <laughs> We're getting more sides than bottom. Let me just do a simple hand bow for up there. I could use the one and a half up up the top and use the other at the bottom let me just see a something let's put all these together the way we did oh my gosh this is going to drive me insane Should have practiced first. I just pulled it all out. <laughs> all right. So we got this on top. 
that there and this there. So I'm just going to do a simple bow for the top. see with this plate rack I got a lot of places I can put this stuff attach stuff What do you think of that up there? A little one at the top, a little one at the bottom, and then this like right there. What do you think? Yep, here we go, messing with the camera again. Okay, we'll do it there. So, we'll put this here, and then we'll put a little one at the bottom. This little tail that I left in here, I'm going to trim that off. Thank you, LaVon. Too much wire under here. Now, maybe just some, uh, just a little bit of greenery and some um, cotton right there. We could even do a couple sunflowers. I have those. 
We have some begonia. Grab those. And we need some cotton. Which, do I have any in here? Yes. And we'll get some greenery. Or we could put some ficus in there, or some, let me see. I have fern, I have ficus. I have boxwood, I have ivy, we'll just bring a little bit of everything over, we'll find something that works here. Not liking that. more of this soon. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it, Bev? Looks like Sue's got a question. Can you help her out, Bev? See, I like this variegated ivy. I'm trying to work some of that in there, but it's not wanting to lay right.
And this stuff, I get it at Sims, and it's just called Bush, and I love it. Okay. Let's see. Now, if I add that there, will that... I'm trying to think, so I think we do. Um, let's go down just a little more while the curve. That helps you. Is it tonight? I can't keep you and Melody straight anymore. Is this looking farmhouse enough? Now, I'm not sure if I want to put those in or another red one in. Um, I have so many florals. I think I like this one better. I like the uh, shape of this one.
Okay. What do you think? Can you all see it? We're losing chicken. Still a little more, like up here. See, I love how this stuff fills in. I put a bunch of this in yours, Anita, because it just makes a really nice, colorful filler. Oh, thank you. I'm not sure I'm going to put the eggs in. I'm, or I may just put one. Have her sitting on one egg. You can barely see the plate rack. <laughs> I guess that was my idea. Not to show the plate rack. But see... That was just a simple plate rack. We just used the brackets to do what we wanted to. Hey, Sue. Glad you could join me. So what do you think? Does it look like a plate rack? Thank you. Something different, something simple. I got to work on that demon bell a little bit. That's freaking me out. It's off kilter somehow, but I'll get it. All oh, things. And for those of you just joining in, I'll show you the handmade signs that I just made today that are going up in my Etsy store. Oh, thanks, Bev. And I'll be selling these and the spider webs. I glittered everything. And then there's this one. Trying to not have it shine. Isn't that cute? All others will be towed. <laughs> Hi, Jean. And then this one I thought would look really cute on a wreath. Let me see. Welcome to our patch. And see, I used really thin wood. So it's not going to weight your, your wreath down a whole lot. But wouldn't those look cute on the side of a, a grapevine or whatever? Pumpkins and leaves all over. I'll have to do some with it. And then this is another one I have, which is night out. But my, uh, I have an, a brother cut, scan and cut, it's just like a cricket. And it's really been working overtime. So, I don't think we really need anything else. I think the florals are balancing out the bow. And we got our three chicks in there. So, I think we're good. All right, guys. See, here's the, the bats. They come just like this. And I did Mod Podge on them, sprinkled them with glitter, let it dry, and then Mod, Mod Podge the top over the glitter after it dried. And it keeps the glitter in place. Um, I have the little spiders that will be sold in packets of five. I have, I can't show you everything because some of the stuff I, I, uh, 
Carla's my sign swap. And I gave some stuff to Carla, so I'm waiting for her to get her package. And then I also had these that will be in the store, too. Baseballs. I got those. I think I'm going to be making a sign that goes with these and then sell it as a wreath kit. Um, I can add the ribbon or not, um, however you want it. Okay. Anybody have any questions? I'll glue and staple and make sure everybody's in place and finish it up. And uh, sorry, this is not going to be a wreath kit. I can sell the florals. You'd have to get your own chicken. Um, but this one's going up in my dining room. Because <laughs> I told you I love chickens. That's fine, Sue. Who's your Who's your partner in the re-swap or sign swap? Did you guys see what Carla sent me? I'll show you what she sent me as part of my re-swap. Can't find, she sent me a sign too. She sent me a sign and the sign says, Happy Halloween. This is all the stuff she sent me on my sign spot. She sent me two rolls of mesh. She sent me a bat. She sent me the sign that says Happy Halloween, which is now missing. <laughs> she sent me some witch's legs. And then she sent me this. And I had the most awesome idea for this. Okay? This is what I'm going to do going to make this into a broom handle. I'm going to attach the legs coming out of the wreath. Okay. And I thought, wouldn't it be cute to use this sign with this and have her crash into the wreath? <laughs> I think that'll look awesome. And then I'll use the bat with the sign she sent me, Happy Halloween. So I'm going to I'm going to make two wreaths out of what she sent me. I think that'll be awesome. I wish I could find the Happy Halloween sign she sent me. I don't think I took it upstairs. I thought I left everything down here so I wouldn't lose it. But it's really pretty. I'm hoping she gets her package tomorrow. Because I handmade a bunch of stuff for her. And I'm hoping she likes it. I blinged it out. She likes bling, so I blinged it out. Alright guys, I'm going to have to go. I've got puppies to feed. i make sure the babies are good. We go to bed early around here because we get up early. We get up with the chickens. So, <laughs> if you don't have any questions. Oh, I'd love to see that, Sue, if you used the bat last year. He's kind of cool looking. I know, right? I just thought it was a fun idea. It was supposed to be a sign. You could do whatever you wanted. It didn't have to be a sign. The whole idea was to go ahead and challenge the other person's creativity. You could send whatever you wanted. 
so it didn't matter. I will, Bobby. She's being a good girl. Thank you, Sue. Good night. All right, guys. I'll be on Wednesday on YouTube at 2 o'clock. So um, check it out. You can always watch the replay later, okay? All right, everybody. Good night. And thank you. And thank you for spreading the love, too. Have a good evening.